What's up, guys? My name is Terrence Checkett, um, and I'll be filling in for Mitch and Ryland this week on episode five of the Neutral Zone Rewind. Um, so this past weekend, we just had one tournament. Uh, it was on Saturday, hosted by Michigan State, and uh, it was just three teams in attendance, MSU, GV, and wisconsin Platteville. Um, so they each played each other once. Uh, the first game of the day was uh, the national championship rematch between MSU and Grand Valley. Um, and the result was GV3, MSU2. Um, it was a close game. It was a good game. I would say the score might reflect it being a little closer than it was. GV was definitely in control most of the points. Um, for Grand Valley, uh, their top performers were obviously uh, MVP candidate Ben Smart, um, but also new captain Mason Smith had a great day, um, as well as Matt Budai. So definitely some of the younger guys for GV starting to step it up into uh, bigger leadership roles. Um, for MSU, um, some of the um, usual candidates for them, Matt Barabal and Nick Fidoa, were definitely on-court leaders. They had great performances, um, but it's definitely uh, starting to show uh, the, the loss of the big four from last year uh, for the Spartans. Um, they're definitely going to have some work to do to get some of these younger players up to speed as far as leading on the court and that sort of thing. So... Um, that was a great game. And then after that, we had UWP, uh, UWP taking on both of them. It's actually the same score for both games. UWP lost both times six to one. So obviously not the scores that they were looking for, but um, definitely uh, some learning experiences for young players, uh, for the pickaxers. Um, and uh, definitely reported that uh, Caleb Lauks had a great day for UWP, as well as uh, Thomas Zander. Um, so we'll look for them to maybe take these uh, performances against the high caliber teams in the league and look to uh, take the experience into games that are more uh, around their rankings. Um, as far as GV and MSU, it was a first look at the national championship rematch. and. Um, Advantage GV after game one this year. Uh, we know that they're going to play probably multiple times again this season uh, at MDC or at Nationals or wherever else. So um, we'll definitely be looking for MSU to rebound in that re in that uh, matchup. Um, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if they do. Uh, so moving on to this weekend, we have a very interesting tournament hosted by Penn State. It's going to be called the Happy Valley Throwdown. Um, and it's going to be three East Coast teams, UVA, JMU, and Penn State, and then two Ohio teams, Ohio State and Kent State. Um, so both of the Ohio teams are going to play four games, um, three against the three East Coast teams that are going, and then they're also both going to play the B team of Penn State. And then um, the East Coast teams uh, get to play both of the Ohio teams, and then we also have UVA matching up against Penn State B and uh, JMU and Penn State getting to play each other. So I would say um, on paper, the best matchups are going to be OSU versus JMU, JMU versus PSU, and OSU versus PSU. Um, we saw Penn State kind of struggle a couple weekends ago at Akron, taking on some Ohio teams. Um as they were labeled a national contender preseason. Um, so they're definitely going to be looking to gain some momentum back. They didn't get to play Ohio State, though, because OSU wasn't at pink out. And they actually haven't played JMU yet this year. And those two teams were definitely predicted to be the top two in the East, or in the East region. So that'll be a good matchup to look for. And then um, definitely Ohio State and JMU is going to be a huge game. Uh, that'll be in the first queue of the day starting at 10 a.m., and then we've got games going all the way through uh, until four. Um, those will be streamed on Ohio State Dodgeball in, uh, YouTube and as well as um, University of Virginia Dodgeball uh, YouTube. So definitely uh, look for those games. Um, watch some Dodgeball this Saturday. There's going to be some great matchups. Um, I will say some of the best matchups are earlier in the day. So set your alarms. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely be looking for uh, our first taste of JMU versus the Ohio region, which is 
always interesting and fun. Um, as well as uh, teams like Kent and UVA, um, just getting another chance to prove uh, that they're ready to take the next step into that next level of uh, competition in this league. So, yeah, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and make sure to uh, tune into the Happy Valley Throwdown this weekend. Thanks, guys.